Esther Wanjiro, founder of Pharma Lifeline Technologies Kenya. My name is Joyce Kwese and I'm the co-founder of Green Impact Technologies operating in Malawi. My name is Marianne Gishanga, CEO and co-founder of AgriTech Analytics, a company in Kenya. Where we're getting farmers ahead of rock pests and diseases. It's been a bit hard to find mentors and people to work uh, with us as ladies in the climate adaptation space. But what I realized that with effort in reaching out, we can actually find them in the right networks. To all women impacting Africa in climate adaptation, the fruit of our labor will be seen in time and it will be enjoyed by generations to come. As a female entrepreneur, it was never a walk in the park as I faced a lot of challenges in raising funds for the business. But patience and hard work was key and still remains. And thanks to investors who are promoting female climate adaptation entrepreneurs with access to finance. To my fellow female climate adaptation entrepreneurs in Africa, we are holders of the key to solving the global climate crisis. I believe we are the early adopters of innovation, first responders in crisis, entrepreneurs of green energy and decision makers at home. We are the agents of change and therefore we must equally be part of the solution to a sustainable future. Some of the challenges that we face as women leaders is traditional farming methods where farmers are not ready to embrace smart agriculture. We also have gender bias where most of the Key players in the field are male, so there's a myth that women are not really suited for leadership here. We also have an equal access to funding as uh, male counterparts get a higher percentage of that. We also have fewer uh, women mentors. The advice I'd give to people who want to venture into this field is to find mentors who can help them walk through this journey. Also enrolling courses for business management and scaling, be teachable as a leader and also the only best time to start is now. So just start and don't be scared. Thank you. Some of the challenges I face as a female climate tech entrepreneur, assessing fundings, uh, feeling respected as a businesswoman, coping with fears of failure, and then building a supporting system. And then another one was uh, difficulties to find a mentor and a role model in the climate tech space. And one thing I will tell the female entrepreneur is that they should stay focused, accept feedbacks from people. They should also filter out the noise and apply what is necessary from the feedback they get. And then they should learn from their past mistakes and try not to make those mistakes anymore. And whatever thing they do, they should never give up.